For years, the Ford Crown Victoria was the sedan driven by police officers everywhere. In 2011, Ford discontinued the Crown Vic. Ever since, police departments have been exploring their options. Test driving Dodge Chargers, Chevy Caprices, and Ford Interceptors in search of a suitable replacement. Let's check in with Fire Captain Ryan Quinn, who is with Deputy Chief Dave Nelson, to talk about the new squad cars that are popping up on Edina streets and how the department made its difficult purchasing decision. Thanks, Brian. We're here today in the Edina Police Garage. I'm here with Deputy Chief Dave Nelson. How are you doing today? Doing good. How about yourself? Doing well, thank you. We're here to talk about the new Edina Police Squads. We've got one sitting here behind us, and what can you tell us about this new look and new vehicle? This is a 2013 Ford Police Interceptor Utility, and the main reason that we switched what type of vehicle we drive is they no longer make the Crown Victoria, which we drove for many years. Well, I can see a couple of changes in the vehicle already. Tell us a little bit about some of the new features that this squad has. This is an all-wheel drive vehicle. And that's a, a big difference from what we've always driven as a two-wheel drive vehicle. So an all-wheel drive vehicle will definitely help us in responding to our calls in the winter months. So some of the other features that we put on the vehicle is a new front bumper system with a wrap. Another new feature that we have is a double partition uh, back seat prisoner area with the plastic molded seat. Um, gives a little bit more leg room than what we currently had in our other squads. And then we are able to store our equipment inside of the squad instead of in the trunk, so all of our medical equipment does stay at a warmer temperature. And a lot of that's very important, especially with the medical supplies, to keep them warm and ready to go because you do respond on all of our medicals in the city as well. Yes. So what other features does the squad have that the uh, Crown Victorias do not? Inside the squad, uh, we were able to put in a different uh, gun mount where now it was mounted vertically instead of horizontally behind behind the officer's head as our older one was, makes it a lot easier for the officer to get the gun out of the vehicle when needed. Um, the console that goes in between the seats to hold all of our equipment is a different style, which holds our equipment a little bit better where officers have easier access to it. You talked about the, uh, the added front bumper, the wraparound front bumper. Mm -hmm. Why is that so important? Uh, we found that when we were building these squads that behind the front quarter panel, the frame of the vehicle was several inches in and when officers are involved in a pursuit and they're going to conduct a pursuit intervention technique or a pit maneuver, um, we needed the extra metal on the outside of the car so we could make good contact and safely terminate the pursuit. In the back seat of the car you mentioned that it's a plastic seat. By having the molded plastic seat it gives the officer that, or there's more room in the back of the vehicle for bringing someone into the squad and taking them out of the squad. It's also easier for the officer to search the vehicle um, if anything were left behind such as needles or paraphernalia. And you also mentioned the all-wheel drive which has got to be a huge benefit to responding to any sort of slippery snowy weather. Yes, having the all-wheel drive the little bit of uh, rough roads that we have had earlier in the year um, officers definitely notice a huge difference in uh, responding to calls. Well, that'll keep all of the uh, officers responding quicker and safer. From what I hear on the street, all of the officers are really, really liking this new squad. Ergonomically, they really like it. Uh, getting in and out of the squad is much easier for them. Um, they like the way it handles a whole lot better than the other squads. And when they're in there for as long as they are all day long, that's got to be kind of nice. Yes. Well, thank you very much for your time today. Thanks for taking the taking us through the new squads. All right. Brian, back to you. Thank you, Ryan.